Hello, NeoVimConf 2023. I hope you're having a wonderful conference. My name is John, and in this quick lightning talk, what I want to discuss is the state of large language model and AI generation technology within NeoVim. And I also want to show off and demonstrate a small proof of concept plugin that I've built that brings some additional functionality to the NeoVim ecosystem, and I hope uh, people find useful. So let's uh, dive into it a little bit. Now, if you're not familiar with large language model technology, or you're not a data scientist, or you're just not in this world day to day, you can sort of think of that as just chat GPT. That's sort of the quick mental route to get to uh, in regards to LLM stuff. And probably the most well known uh, is GitHub's Copilot. And there is a GitHub Copilot uh, extension for Vim written by none other than Tim Pope, uh, the legend himself. And it's very good. It brings a lot of that co-pilot technology into NeoVim, the generation and sort of getting you chunks of uh, generated code right within your editor. It's very good. There's one for Codium, which also brings a lot of that same functionality right into the editor. You kind of get where I'm going with this. Um, and one of the things that I found was, was just really annoying and I was not super pleased with, personally at least, was I didn't want to be using a third-party service consistently within NeoVim to get a lot of this same really great functionality with code generation using LLMs. Well, and you may be thinking to yourself, John, there is good technology that exists today for running large language models locally, even on, you know, kind of consumer hardware without like tons of GPUs and stuff, uh, just on this MacBook, for example. Uh, and that's where this project, uh, Llama.cpp comes in. Llama.cpp is an interface for Llama models and really Llama-like models uh, in pure C and C++. Uh, it's really a fantastic way to run large language models uh, directly on consumer-based hardware, essentially. Uh, and if you're unfamiliar with what Llama is, uh, Llama is a open-sourced large language model that came out of Meta and is, is very, very good. It's just about as good as GPT 3.5 or something from OpenAI. So here I have llama.cpp. I've built everything and I have all the necessary dependencies here. If I look in the models directory, uh, here I have code llama, uh, the 13 billion parameter one, uh, guff file. And you don't need, if you're not into data scientists or into like building LLMs and all this stuff, this is, this is the whole thing. This is the whole shebang. This is the whole trained model with all the parameters and stuff that Llama CPP can use to actually start doing generation and stuff. And now from the root of this directory, I'm going to run the main program that I've compiled, the main C, C++ program that I've compiled uh, with a bunch of parameters. And I'm going to give it specifically that code Llama model that we just talked about and uh, a bunch of other stuff uh, just to get uh, just to get us going with a bunch of parameters that I've tweaked to work for this. So here I have a chat prompt and I can just tell it something. I could say, uh, write a Rust program uh, that prints hello world. And it'll start doing actual code generation. It's got some Rust there. And this is pretty fast, actually, uh, compared to maybe something you would notice in uh, ChatGPT, maybe just about as fast. So that's llama.cpp in a nutshell. We can run some local models that we have downloaded, that we have installed, uh, and we can actually do that from our own hardware in our own terminal. Very exciting. That brings me to this proof of concept project that I've worked on called NVim Llama. And what this is, is essentially an integration with llama.cpp. So if we head back over to Vim and I have this installed via Packer, uh, nothing really exciting going on there. But what we can do is we can go into Vim and we can start a similar prompt chat within NeoVim here. You can think of it as basically getting access to a chat GPT-like prompt, but right inside of NeoVim. So I'm just gonna give it the one auto command llama uh, that we need. It does the startup of uh, llama.cpp uh, that we've seen, and it gives us the prompt there uh, like we saw previously. So we can do something very similar, uh, write a hello world program in Rust, and it'll start generating right from within here, and there it starts generating some code. 
and that's very similar to what we saw before. When I finished, I can hit Control C and I can Command Q uh, right out of there. And then I'm back to editing, you know, whatever files and stuff, I can get back into my typical NeoVim workflow. You'll notice a few problems here already with this proof of concept and essentially what makes it not ready for the wider world of adoption um, is that building uh, Llama.cpp or really any C or C++ program is that the dependency tree for uh, getting that to work on any number of systems uh, is very large, which uh, I, as a maintainer of this plugin, don't really want to have to handle and don't really want to have to maintain. Now, enter Olama, which this is going to basically be the future of the NVIM Llama plugin project, uh, but Olama attempts to abstract a lot of that away by giving you a command line interface to not only download and install uh, LLM models and guff files and all that stuff, but also an interface within Docker to actually run a lot of this stuff uh, via containers, or you could run it locally, um, and kind of abstracts a lot of that uh, llama.cpp stuff away. Under the hood, it is also using llama.cpp, but abstracts having to build it for different architectures, having to run it, having to give it those optimization tweaks you saw in that one command that I ran. Um, a lot of this gets abstracted away within Olama. So now let's look at what running Olama would look like as a service from a container that the future of the NVIM Llama project plugin uh, could start using almost as a service so it wouldn't have to run llama.cpp and build it and create a bunch of that cruft. Uh, and we can do that with Docker and the container that Olama provides. Uh, I'm going to give it uh, this Docker run command here. We start running that and it boots up and there it is. It's ready to start accepting uh, some different requests. So what I can do now is I can actually make just typical HTTP requests like a service uh, to this thing on my local machine. Remember, this is all locals. So that's sort of the uh, whole antithesis of this. And so what we can do is curl, uh, we're gonna post to localhost 11.434, which again is that Olama container and uh, we're gonna give it API generate uh, with this payload. In the model uh, for the payload, we're gonna say llama2 and we're just gonna do the seven billion parameter one uh, and that'll be just fine. We will then give it a prompt, uh, why is the sky blue? And we will see it uh, actually up here. So fast forwarding a little bit, what we see here is a stream payload uh, from the Olama service giving us the generated text. Uh, if we were to put all these together, each of these little response bits, we would actually get the whole tokenized response. So this is all great and this is fine, but there's another problem that you may be thinking of. Um, we have our service that's sort of running an agnostic model. We can just give it some HTTP curl response, but uh, Lua and NeoVim and a lot of these uh, plugins are not, in my opinion, very well suited uh, to interface with a service like this. Uh, again, people have done it. Uh, you can do just about anything in Lua, but uh, in my opinion, there's there's better ways to do this and integrate uh, with these HTTP sort of services. And that's where I want to talk about another proof of concept library written in Rust called Olama RS that I've written. And this is a very rough proof of concept, but essentially what this is, is uh, that similar interface that we saw in the NVIM Llama project, where we're basically getting that chat response prompt, uh, like you would in ChatGPT, uh, but this is interacting with, instead, Olama as a service. So let's just do cargo run, and it's running there. And we can see it's generating that same response. I've hard coded the request for why the sky is blue inside of the code just as a proof of concept. But we can see this stream is it makes much more sense. Um, and we can use this uh, within our NVIM LLM model. Very exciting times to be involved in the NVIM community and to be looking at large language model technology. Uh, if you're curious or want to get involved, I could always use really any help at all, uh, please check out the NVIM Llama direct uh, repository under JPMCB, uh, NVIM Llama, uh, and be looking forward to these changes coming soon for integration with Olama and getting a lot of this power and stuff. I uh, hope you have a great conference. Thanks, everybody. Bye.